Hey, my name is Talaka El Esparza. I'm with Sunhouse, here presenting Sensory Percussion, a completely new system for expressive electronic control through acoustic drums. Um, so the system is software that runs on Mac or PC um, computer and uh, phantom-powered sensors that plug into any standard audio interface. So what this allows you to do is take the richness of an acoustic drum, um, you know, a drum that you can hit in infinite number of ways and get an infinite number of sounds out of it. It allows you to map that to a very powerful control language for controlling sampler, synths, effects, um, lighting, whatever you want. Um, the software is standalone, it has built-in samplers and effects, and um, tons of really great samples and presets. So I'm going to walk you through some of the major features of sensory percussion. Um, so you know, we built this to be used on stage in live performance. So there's a lot of sophisticated uh, features to deal with thresholding, crosstalk cancellation, um, uh, automatic crosstalk cancellation, and um, adjusting the feel of the drums. So as you can see in the thresholding panel here, we can very easily adjust the threshold to whatever we want um, and adjust the feel of the drum through our velocity I.O. panel. So once you have it set up, it's really easy to get started with sensory percussion by just dragging in one of our great sounding presets. We have um, everything from experimental electronic music to hip hop to acoustic drums that we've metic meticulously sampled. So you can just drag them in right into the set navigator up here and just start playing. Sensory percussion listens to the timbral differences in your drum. So when you hit a drum in a certain way, it creates a certain sound. And our software is able to kind of analyze that and capture it in real time, allowing you to use up to 10 different drum strokes um, to control up to 10 different sound zones. So things like the center of the drum versus the edge versus stick shot versus rim shot out on the edge, rim shot in the center, tip of the stick, shoulder of the stick, or cross stick, or even dampening the drum head, allow you to uh, control completely different sound, sound zones that you can map um, as many samples into as you want and control in very powerful ways. Um, so a single drum becomes a very powerful controller in and of itself. And when you have four drums, you're able to control huge amounts of sound, produce entire light shows and solo shows, um, play entire records worth of music um, essentially by yourself. So sensory percussion doesn't just trigger this or that sample. We're looking at the drum as a whole, as a, as a single instrument. And so we're able to map when you're moving in between sounds. So on this drum, you can hear it switch from one sound to the other. But with sensory percussion, we can blend between sounds. So I just turned on a blend between the center and the edge. So you can see I have two different snare samples and they're moving um, up or down depending on how I'm, where I'm hitting the drum head. Um, so it allows you to get kind of that natural response from an acoustic drum, uh, but through samples. Um, and allows you to have ultimate control on how it sounds in the end. But sensor percussion goes way beyond that. Uh, so with controllers, we're able to translate things you do on the drum, parameters of drumming, into parameters of software control. So for instance, um, that movement from the center of the drum out to the edge, it's a, what we call a timbral change. So we can create a timbre controller that can track that movement. Um, so right here, we'll go and create a timbre controller. 
and we'll have it move from the center out to the edge. And now we can use this to control any parameter in the software. So if I drop this onto, say, the pitch parameter um, of these two samples, you can hear that I'm now controlling the pitch with my sticks. So very powerful uh, with only a couple samples. We've turned the drum head into a very expressive, um, very powerful controller. Um, you know, just it, it's really following my playing like a real uh, acoustic instrument would, um, but kind of stretching it and painting it with electronic sound in, in ways that um, weren't really possible before. Um, so you know, there's a lot of parameters you can tweak to um, make it sound certain ways, change the range, Add smoothing. Um, but this sample stacking also allows you to control tonal elements in really powerful ways. So um, with this sampler, we have um, a sequence of chords that's chained to go in order. And every time I hit the drum, past a certain velocity, And uh, I have mapped to the rim of the bass drum a choke. So you can create as many choke groups and have as many groups of tonal samples that choke each other or have a, a stop button, if you will, um, mapped to any part of the drum. Sensor percussion is turning the drums into a controller and allowing you to program electronic sound and actions and effects to your playing. So rather than sitting over here and twisting knobs and um, setting up sequencers and controlling the computer through the computer, you can literally control the computer through the drums. And that's really what the point of it is. It allows you to play electronics with your instrument, with your instrument that you already know. Um, and that's why it's so powerful in the end. Sensor percussion has powerful MIDI output built right into it. So all the different zones and variable control you can get out through MIDI notes and CC messages. Um, so we can uh, send MIDI over to Ableton and directly control a drum rack um, and uh, use Ableton samples. Um, or, uh, you know, use sensor percussion in conjunction with Ableton to, uh, um, they can live side by side and work at the same time. Right, so able to, to really um, integrate it into your workflow and whatever, whatever that may be. Um, it also, you know, since it's MIDI, it can send to hardware synths, uh, other DAWs, um, somebody else's computer, um, as flexible as MIDI is, um, sense percussion can be um, built right into that workflow. So um, another way of, of um, having your DAW interact with sensor percussion is through our routing plugin. So you can load our routing plugin directly in your DAW and route audio from sensor percussion straight into your DAW for recording or live looping or whatever you might want. So right now this plugin is loaded in Ableton and you can see the audio from sensor percussion shooting directly over to Ableton in real time. Sensory percussion has a powerful sampler built right into it. It allows you to control um, as many samples as you want, to stack them, cycle them, randomize them, or set them to uh, map them to velocity settings of your playing. Um, it also has a powerful pitch quantization feature that allows you to pitch um, based on scale degrees. So with this sample here, um, we can map it to different scale degrees and control it and more or less play melodies um, through the drum. So 
I'm going to create a timbre controller that maps it from the center to the edge. So as you can hear, it's pitching up or down, kind of sliding between every note. Um, but if we turn on pitch quantization, we can um, make it stop at certain scale degrees on the way. So that's chromatic. If I go to, say, a pentatonic scale, so of course you can set the range to uh, to whatever you want. So there's a lot of possibilities with this feature to add tonal elements to your drums. So sensor percussion is a sensor and software. The sensor attaches to any standard drum rim. It attaches the same to bass drums as it does to metal drums. You only need one type. Um, very simple mechanism. You just latch it on and screw it down. And it's very secure, very tough. Uh, uh, we made it tour ready. It's a phantom powered device. So uh, it takes a standard XLR cable and plugs into any standard audio interface with a mic pre. Um, so it runs just like a phantom powered microphone. So we call this a sensor. It's not a trigger. Um, it doesn't plug into a standard drum brain. It's much more like a finely tuned microphone to capture the full sound of the drum. Our software analyzes the sound of your drum, so it really needs all the detail um, of uh, how it sounds when you hit it. Um, so it's finely tuned to work in loud environments to isolate the sound of the drum and uh, it's tough and ready to, ready to go on tour. So, you know, with a trigger, they're really designed to uh, trigger one sound um, per surface, but this is really capturing the sound of the drum, and that's how we're able to map so many sound zones on a single drum. It's through the signal that this picks up and our powerful software that um, has algorithms that analyze and understand what you're doing on the drum based on how it sounds. So this has just been a quick look at what sensor percussion can do. There's tons more features and powerful ways in which you can use it. So if you have any more questions, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.